finding uh, the right or the only agent that produces the cancer, I don't think at this time we have that the knowledge to really blame one thing. I think it's a combination of different things that we do in our life. And we also depend on what we inherited from our parents. And because we inherit uh, the genetic structure, we inherit our uh, diet habits, our exercise uh, patterns, and our behavior. So we learn that from our parents and we behave very closely to what they do. It's also important, in my experience, I've been doing this uh, insulin potentiation therapy uh, for the last 28 years. And it is important to treat the patient, not the cancer. Uh, many patients uh, are looking for uh, treating a particular cancer, but we don't see breast cancer walking on the street. We don't see prostate cancer walking on the street or flying on the airplanes. What we see is human beings, persons. The most important thing to get a good result is to treat the patient. In general terms, when a patient responds to a particular uh, approach, the results should be seen within the first week. I always tell my patients that with uh, my treatment, insulin potentiation therapy, the patients are going to start to see their results soon after the first treatment is given. Treating the symptoms like just uh, taking away the tumor, which is the symptom, and not addressing or focusing on the causes will not resolve the cancer problem. And emotions at the time of treatment are very important. When a patient is receiving a treatment and the patient is stressed and the patient starts to have uh, abnormal reactions and feels uh, awful, then the body might not respond as well. With uh, my approach, what I'll do uh, is, I know because other researchers have uh, noticed, have discovered that the cell membranes of cancer cells have insulin receptors. And insulin receptors can be compared to uh, the locks that you have on your door. Usually, a normal home, uh, a normal house, uh, the front door has one or two locks. Okay, well, cancer cells, they need to prevent from the outside, from the environment. So what they do is they have several locks in their doors. Insulin is the key, and insulin is going to interact with uh, the locks at the doors. If I administer a small dose of insulin that comes from the outside, goes in the inside, travels to the bloodstream, it will interact with the locks of the doors that have more locks. So because it's a small dose and it, there is an attraction uh, of the receptor and in the insulin. So the insulin that I am administering will go directly to those uh, doors that have more locks, which are the malignant cells, the cancer cells. They will open their door and at that time I administer a small dose of uh, chemotherapy and that dose will only go inside of those uh, malignant cells and only killing those malignant cells, leaving the normal cells intact. So with this low dose approach, I don't damage the normal cells, I just damage the cancer cells and then the immune system recognizes those substances and then starts to go to that area and starts also a healing process in that uh, area. The first thing the patient uh, receives is a dose of insulin that will only produce the initial uh, symptoms of hypoglycemia. And those, uh, those are the initial symptoms. That means that the cells are hungry, especially the cancer cells, they are hungry. And uh, when that happens, I deliver the low dose chemo. In a sequence, I don't uh, use a chemotherapy combination of agents that do not work on a particular cancer. I follow the indications based on the research done by the manufacturers and I only give a dose which can be something from 10 to 28 percent of the recommended dose. But uh, coming back to current time, if I give one uh, milligram of a particular substance after the patient has received the insulin, that one milligram is going to behave inside 
10,000 times more potent because of the potentiation of the insulin. And if I am able to target only the malignant cell, I will only deliver the dose of the chemotherapy to the area that I want, leaving the rest of the cells intact.